Hi, future self. I'm getting ready to edit. Now I'm just thinking like, this is January, February, March, April, this is May. I'm editing in May and it's two months later at this point. And I'm just thinking about the difference between sort of fear, trepidation, dread, and losing the spark. So that painting upstairs I just spent, I don't know, over a week staring at it, managing to get <laughs> nothing painted. And then yesterday, I made a ton of progress. And I guess I'm unsure, like, what is the blocker on the videos? Um... Am I not interested in doing this project anymore? Am I not interested in the videos anymore? Am I not interested in making them in this format? Am I not, like, what about them is uninteresting? What about them is making them, um, me not want to, like, dig in and really, like, feed on them? Um, which usually points to some kind of transition, some kind of transition in the way they're shot or the way, what they're about or how they're organized or something. Um, so, I guess I just need to sort of like jump in to really experiment, to like rip apart the current format and like really play with them more. I do like the temporal anchoring in them, that they're from a time, but they've lost some sort of sparkle. They've lost like a sense of play that I can't proceed without. So let's see what we can do about it. <laughs> Every time I talk to you and I say like, Oh my god, original thing is happening to me currently. I I open up a fucking Amnesia Diaries video and I'm like, oh, that problem that you think is only happening to you right now, it turns out you're also talking about the Waterfall of Doom in the video that you're currently editing. And in the video you're currently editing, you are also two months behind on editing. And you know what? It's fine. Like, in this video, I am... <laughs> this is why I make this fucking project. Okay, so let's just, let's have a little, a little session right now. We make this project because it is impossible for me to remember that the thing that is happening right now is not new. This has happened before. Being two months on behind on editing videos has happened before. Being extremely depressed and being unable to paint has happened before. Just because it's happening doesn't mean it will last forever. It doesn't even mean that it's bad. It just means that you don't remember the previous occurrences. So, you're fine. I'm fine. I'm fine.
just finished catching up some of the notebooks to the beginning of this year. Oh, I have this decision to make where I have all these <clears throat> notebooks and materials and stuff. Sorry, my throat is like really gross right now. Oh, uh, notebooks and materials. This one is all from 2016. Um, and I have some bound ones upstairs. They're from 2017. This one's 2011. These are also 17, so I... Hold on, let me flip you around. I... What am I talking about? Shit. Okay, I'm standing in front of the table, looking at notebooks, talking about notebooks, Oh, I formally started Amnesia Diaries in 2018. <clears throat> so the Amnesia Diaries binder is like started at a specific time and there's like book one. But now I need to be able to go back in time before that to include materials that um, I was making but weren't formally in the project. So yeah, I need like a, a common era and before common era system. So I think I'll just do negative book numbers, like negative one and zero. Yeah, I'll do a book zero. <clears throat> I'll do a book zero and then through negatives. Yeah, I can do that. My hair is long enough now that I can pin it straight back, which I hate. It's horrible. I don't like the way it looks at all. It's incredibly feminine in a way that I wasn't expecting. And it's giving me dysphoria, so... <sighs> but the actual topic at hand, which is that I just got these in basic order. Uh, I'm sure I'm still missing stuff. I seem to always be missing stuff, no matter how many times I go through and organize everything. So... Yeah, these, these go into 2017, 27, these three are basically 2017, um, but this one, I don't know what to do with this one because it's got like a ton of white pages at the back which I don't like, so I'll probably cut this whole thing apart and like do something. I don't know. I might cut them both. Both of these bound books. I don't know. But yeah. So. Progress. It's strange to think. Like okay. So this was made in 2019. This is genealogy. And it'll go sort of in between the other books. But I still want to make a video about it. Which is why it's down here. Um, genealogy is this. Piece um, in which every page is a painting on transparency, and each painting um, you can go forward or backward through time. We're actually going backward through time right now as we go down, because um, in my brain, up is back in time and down is forward in time. Um, zhoosh. Uh, so it makes a painting on both sides, so they sort of accumulate, they aggregate into these reflected paintings. Uh, yeah, anyway. I guess I just think it's interesting, like, making an archive as a piece. Because, um, like, for example, there's an entire novel in here. A novel you won't find basically anywhere else but in this section. Um, I think there's a novel in here, too. Or it might be in here. There's two novels in here. <laughs> yeah, I think this is one and this is the other one. Uh, so yeah. Archive. Well, we on the ramble topic of being a human, this piece is also an archive. So I guess, you know, I, I have put in my bio recently for several artist talks and panels and things that 
um, I'm interested in experimental archives and that um, phrase in my bio came about specifically yeah, in relation to the literacy, um, sort of friction between you can teach to another person is amnesia diaries slash prosthetic memory. Anything that I can translate or like save or like anything, all of those things come down to how does the human sort of like I have no idea and utilize the set of tools available in order to like do some action and the set of tools available is the technology part. Even paintings are, you know, technology, not just the paint or what the, fuck the is going on? text or the, you know, like all of it functions as a tool. Just like he's down here. Are you a technology? Yes. Yeah. I have a cattle dog. She's an old lady. Yeah, you're an old lady. <laughs> She's like, uh uh. She's 10. Who the fuck am I talking to? Oh, yeah, we have a cat. Yeah. Good job, He's self. A jerk. Just leaving zero record. So yeah, <laughs> this, these pieces as, as part of this practice in experimental archives, I really want to know what I'm laughing about, but I don't remember. So <laughs> this, the, this painting series was specifically like feelings in context, the feelings in context of what's happening in the world, the news, the pandemic social uprising <laughs> don't worry I only just took my mask off to talk to you there's no one in either direction on the trail and we haven't encountered anyone in the park all morning. So I think we're safe to have our mask off outside for a little bit, to have some sniffs. I try to get up early enough that I can like do this whole walk before work and have all this like open time in the morning to meditate and walk. And sometimes my brain just won't do that. I try to get up this morning at seven, 6.30, somewhere in there. My brain was like, if you do this to me, I will give you a migraine. And I was like, okay, I go back to sleep now. <laughs> um, so then much later, like 8.30 or 9, I was like, okay, we can do it. And I got up and I went for a walk. Um, I've tried a bunch of times to create in myself a morning person and it doesn't work um so i'm just here to say to you future self because you'll probably try to morning self your morning person yourself again and i just want to recommend like staying conscious of the goal which is to get outside and to experience some beauty and some nature and some plants and to go for a walk and get your heart rate up a little bit and to just let yourself uh, sort of sink into the present and get away from, or take a break from future brain. My brain only goes one place and that's the future. And that, you know, a lot of that comes from ambition and the myth of progress. And yeah, I'm kind of in that state and I'm trying to take it as a, um, an opportunity to um, deeply change away my thinking, deeply change um, my relationship to my success, my relationship to my desires, 
uh, and question like where those desires come from and how much of those desires come from capitalism and whiteness and um, settler logic, all of these things, so yeah. The instant I start recording, there is a truck. Oh well. There was a piece in the Chronicle this morning. Um, that just kind of fucked me up. Um, I didn't realize like how much of my hope around the pandemic was. Um, tied up with vaccines being a thing that could happen uh, and now it's looking like you cannot get permanent immunity to coronavirus whether from getting it yourself or from a vaccine um and yeah that was um that was intense uh, doesn't mean we can't treat it doesn't even mean we couldn't do a vaccine that you took like every month or something oh I hate this wrap I did today oh. I just feel really frozen right now so I know I'm supposed to like wrap these up, these like moments of intense brain do with, you know, conceptual framing and, and everything, but I just can't, I just can't, so. Where'd you go? I don't. Man, this one was hard. I got very stuck in the middle. Yeah. I wish I could see them all together, but it's not gonna happen. Can I have a new future? Although I was thinking yeah. I could do like a VR space that has photos of them all. Mm -hmm. Then I could at least like get a general sense of them together. And you have photos of them all? Yeah, I have pictures of all of them. I seem to yeah. cut out. I didn't need to like give them transparent backgrounds or whatever. Really easy to make a unity
You always forget to store it? No, I don't say you forget to store it. I say you forget to close the fucking battery. Usually. Yeah, exactly. Every single time you forget to close the battery. Exactly. Exactly. I'm glad you agree. Hyperbole isn't even a thing. It hasn't been invented yet. What is even this thing that you're speaking of? Hark, hark, hark. Hark, hark, hark. Yeah, it is funny. Thank you. Har, har, har. Thank you. Alright, I just need more one. More one rubbery band. More one. Then I can take you to be with your friends. Right, can we fix it out? How, how, how? This way. Good thing they're very light. Yeah, they are. Don't run into the wall. There we go. Oh shit, the door is closed. Use your foots! Foot activated! Alright. Alright. Now we got to go. Look, there's all your friends! Alright, I gotta swivel. 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 Oh no. Come on. Oopsie daisy! Yes, yes, factually accurate. Hello, future yourself. It is Sunday, so I just finished reading the paper. Well, not just, I have a while ago. But, oof. I went through the last, like, month's worth of news puppers. And I have 19 new fronts, uh, double layer. 19 or these are full-size fronts sorry okay again 19 full-size fronts plus backing 12 half-size fronts plus backing and then back up and over here in this pile is uh, headlines and some pictures and stuff so now i'm going to take a break because i did lots of sorting Woof.